Hi students. Today we are going to discuss about sets. What is a set? A set is a collection of distinct objects or elements. What is mean by that? For example, the set of all students in a class. Here, the students is actually the elements. The set of all teachers in a school. Here, the teachers are the elements of that set of the set of teachers. The set of all rivers in India. So, if you see from these examples, the set is actually each of these sets contains the distinct objects of that particular kind. Generally, we express set by means of a capital letter, support case, and if an element present in this set is, then we write that A, suppose the element A present in the set is, we write A belongs to S. In case the element A doesn't belong to the set S, then we write that A doesn't belong to S. For any element and for any set, one property must hold true. What is that property? Suppose A is the set and A is an element. That element, I said only elements. It may not be belongs to the set S or it may not be. Okay? It may belong to the set S, it may not belong to the set S. In case A belongs to the set S, we will write this as we already described. So this property can hold true or a doesn't belong to S. Either of these two must be satisfied. Let's take some example from mathematics. Okay. Let's consider the set let's consider the set A is equal to x where x is the x is a natural number okay then we can conclude that 3 belongs to s why because 3 is a natural number, but 1 by 3 doesn't belong to S. Because 1 by 3 is not a natural number. So, you understood that how I can express an element belongs to a set S or not in which manner. Let's consider another set called set T. What is that? The set T is the set of all prime numbers less than 20. Okay? How we can express that? We can express in two forms. Let's see how we can express. So we can express in one form that is called T is X. X is a prime number. And X is less than 20. Or we can write in another form t equal to what are all the prime numbers less than 20 it is 2 
थ्री फाइव सेवन इलेवन थर्टीन सेवेंटीन एंड नाइनटीन करेक्ट सो हियर यू सी दैट आई एक्सप्रेस द सेट इन ए मोर डिटेल मैनर ओके आई आई एक्सप्रेस ऑल द एलिमेंट्स करेक्ट so and here i give a another way of describing the set so there are two different names for that this is known as set builder form set builder form and this is known as roster form correct You know, depending on the purpose, sometimes it is better to express a set in set builder form, and sometimes depending on some other purpose, it is easier to express a set in terms of a, a, a roster form. Let's take an example and see how we can solve it. So, let me give you the example. Okay. I am going to express a set in set builder form. What is that set? That set is t. t equal to x such that it satisfies a x is a root of a quadratic equation. That means x is what is the quadratic equation? X square minus four x plus four equal to zero. Okay, so here the set T contains elements. What are those elements? The elements must satisfy this quadratic equation. So what is this form? This form is actually set builder form. I want you to express this same set in a roster form. What I will suggest you? I will suggest you to make this video now in pause mode. solve the problem and after that you start seeing the video and see how i solve this one thank you we'll come back in another 1 minute okay let's see how you can express this this set t in a roster form if we see this equation x square minus 4x plus 4 equal to 0 how we can express so how we can solve it x square minus 4x plus 4 equal to 0 this implies x square minus 2x minus 2x plus 4 equal to 0 this implies x into x minus 2 minus 2 into x minus 2 equal to 0 that implies x minus 2 whole square is equal to 0 that implies x minus 2 equal to 0 that implies x equal to 2 it doesn't need all these steps to solve this one but i did it just to express that how i am actually solving it you know in straight forward you can write x minus 2 square equal to 0 you know, which is x equal to 2 so if i express the same set in the roster form it comes as that t equal to 2 okay thank you so our next uh, topic is 
uh, is called a subset. Okay. <coughs> subset. Subset is a concept which we are going to learn now. What is a subset? Okay, let's see. Let us consider two sets. One set is S and another set is P. And there is a beautiful relationship between these two sets. What is that? All the elements of the set S is also the element of the set T. Let's take a very practical example. Okay? Let's say it. S equal to, you know, 1, 2, 3, 5. And suppose the set T is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, like this. Both are sets, but there is a, a relation is that all the elements of the set S is also an element of the set T. Right? So, then we can say that S is a subset of T. And how we can express? We can express is that S is a subset of T. The same thing we can express in some other form that is called superset. This actually implies that T is a superset of S. Correct. Now, here I would like to say one small point. Sometimes we can write S is a subset of T. We can make an equal sign also. What does it mean? It means that, that if we write S is subset equal to T, that means S is an improper subset of T. But here you can say that T is an improper superset of S. The moment we will remove this equal sign, then you can say S is a proper subset of T and T is a proper superset of S. Here I would like to say you one interesting concept that is called the Venn diagram, which will help to understand how all these relationships can be uh, expressed in an easier manner and out of that expression you can conclude what kind of relationship the sets are having between them or in case of more than two sets how it is happening among them. So let's have this example here and I am going to express about the Venn diagram. You know, in Venn diagram, we describe sets in circles and all the elements in the set, we put a point inside, inside that circle. Okay, let's see how we can express S here from this one. S is a circle that is S. And what are the elements? 1, 2, 3, 5. So these are the different points. 1, 2, 3, 5. So here it is 1, here it is 2, here it is 3, and here it is 5. Okay. Now, there is the set T. How you can express T? T, let's express like this. I made a small mistake. I should not express T like this. All the elements are present. Okay. So, what are the elements T has? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. So, 1 is there, 2 is there, 3 is there. So, I can place 4 here. 
Okay, five is there and seven here. So this is four. This is seven. So this is the set T. I wanted to draw a circle. So please consider this as a circle. <laughs> it looks like a <laughs> not a circle. Okay. So what we see is that all the elements of S belongs to the elements of the set T. So we can say that S is a subset of T. So you see here all are numbers. Okay. And here is the pictorial description of those number representation which are the elements of the sets. So it is always helpful if you have sets described as a in a roster form. Okay. The moment it is in roster form, two sets or more than two sets expressed in roster form, then you can uh, make a relationship among sets. Okay very easily if you do by means of Venn diagram okay all right for example let's take an example of a subset the set of all integers multiple of 5 is a subset of the set of a real numbers okay you know what is real numbers okay let's see Real numbers means any number which exists in real starting from minus infinite to plus infinite. Okay, it contains the fraction numbers as well. So it is an entire set, right? So I can describe like this a real number in a real line, right? This is minus infinite, this is infinite, this is the suppose midpoint zero. This is 1, 2, 3, okay? And here I am writing minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and dot 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 dot. Here also. Now the point is that this is one set. It is generally denoted by R, the set of real numbers. Now I am constructing another set. Suppose the set S which is actually you know, an x what you can say x is a natural number multiple of 5 What does it mean? It contains 5, 10, 15, 20 in that way. Obviously, this set is a subset of R. Right? So we can write S is a subset of R. Remember one thing here. We never we cannot write here S is a uh, you know subset and equal. It is not possible in this context. Why? Because it is not possible to have any, uh, you know, fractional number as an element of the set S. So there is no chance that S can be equal to R in any way. So S is a proper subset of R here. Okay. Now, let's discuss about the another set called empty set. Empty set is a set which doesn't have any element. You may think, oh, how, if there is no element, then what is the point of discussing this thing? Now, there is a meaningful discussion. Why? Because empty set will help to conclude several, uh, you know, mathematical proof in future we will discuss. So, empty set is generally denoted by pi. Okay. And it doesn't contain any, any, any element. Okay. Empty set is also known as uh, null set or void set. 
where we will discuss the next one is called equality of sets. How we can prove that two sets are equal? Okay? Equality of sets. Suppose I have two sets. One is S and another set is T. Now, if someone tells me that both the sets are equal, how I can prove it or how I can give a justification that both the sets are equal? Yes, if both the sets are expressed in a roster form, you can have a look into it or most probably you can draw a Venn diagram and from that you can conclude. But without drawing the Venn diagram, if you go with a absolute mathematical expression, how we can conclude whether the two sets are equal or not? Here is the way. Two sets S and T will be equal to each other if this condition holds true. S is a subset of T and T is a subset of S. And this subset is improper subset. Why? Because there is a chance that this will be equal. So if both the conditions hold true, if both the conditions hold true, then you can say that S is equal to T. So what we can conclude, S is equal to T if and only if both the conditions hold true. Understood? Okay. Now we are going to discuss the algebraic operations on sets. So far, you have known the algebraic operations like plus, minus, multiplication, division, exponential, logarithm, etc. These are the algebraic operations. But for set, it is a different kind of operations. And this is one of the most important topic in sets. What are the algebraic operations possible on sets? Here, union, second one is intersection, third one is Complement Let's understand these three very clearly There are some other operations also subsequent But that will come eventually from these three But these three are very very important to understand Let's see what are those How, how we can describe all these things Okay Let's first understand union. Okay. What is meant by union? Here I am going to describe. Suppose I have two sets. Set A and set B. Now it is algebraic operation, union. So that union algebraic operation is described by the symbol called A union B. So how we can describe a union B? 
A union B is described as in the set builder form is X such that X belongs to A or X belongs to B. Remember, this OR statement is extremely important. Extremely important. I will explain later why this OR statement is so important. Okay? So, A union B means is X. X belongs to A or X belongs to B. We can see this union in Venn diagram. So, let's Consider this is the set A, A. Okay. And another set, this is the set B. <coughs> okay. Now what is A union B? A union B is the entire region. Okay. That means it is the region. Let's take an example so that you can understand in more detail. Let us consider the set A is equal to 1, 2, 3. And let us consider the set B is 2, 3, 5. <coughs> then you know what will be A union B? A union B will be. 1, 2, 3 and 5. Why A union B is 1, 2, 3 and 5? We can establish both by means of this description in set builder form and by means of Venn diagram. Let's first describe or prove it by means of Venn diagram. Let's draw the Venn diagram of the set A. What will be the Venn diagram of the set A? If I write the set A, it will be 1, 2, 3. It is 1, 2, 3. And what is the set B? Set B is Two, three is already there and five. Correct. Now, what is A union B? Is the entire region according to the Venn diagram? So it is a one, two, three, five, the entire region. So that is the establishment that uh, that how Venn diagram helped us without going to any mathematical proof. Correct. Now let's come to the set builder form. You see, what is the definition of A union B? A union B is an element X. It contains an element X. And X has a property that X could be either belongs to A or belongs to B. So you take one, one belongs to either A or B. In this case it is A. Two, A or B. Yes, in this case it is both A and B. Because we will describe later AND is a subset of OR from a conceptual point of view. You can consider in this in case of 2, you can say either 2 belongs to A or 2 belongs to B. In this case 2 belongs to A and 2 belongs to B as well. But you can consider that yes, at least one it is getting satisfied. Both it is getting satisfied but you can consider for the sake of our uh, you know logic that one is getting satisfied, so hence it is fine. For the, for the element 3, it is the same logic like the element 2. Next 5. 5 belongs to B, but not to A, but it satisfies this OR condition. So now you understood, maybe a little bit, 
that why OR is very important to have. Next one is intersection. Let's describe the intersection here. You know. <clears throat> the intersection, suppose I have two sets A and B. The intersection of A and B is described like A, this symbol, which is the, you know, in 